Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Danish wind industry association, I would like to welcome you to Denmark. As you know, Denmark is known as uh, the country who have in invented the turbine. And then I think today we are also known as the country in the world where we have integrated most wind in the electricity system. Today, Denmark has approximately 5,100 turbines in total. 78% of the production of the wind is produced onshore, 22% offshore. And uh, in total, uh, the 20% of the electricity consumption in Denmark is today based on, on wind. Well, it's very helpful to come out here and to see an example of a very uh, vibrant wind energy uh, industry, to see one of the first offshore wind farms is uh, really a great thrill and a great lesson to take back to the United States that this can work and it can work in a way that's compatible with the environment. Is that we have the technology to make major emissions reductions and we have that technology now. What you see out here is the best example. Denmark is the world leader with 20% of its electricity coming from wind energy. We expect that to go to 50% in the not too distant future and we think an awful lot of other countries can follow Denmark's lead. All we need is the political support and the political will from governments, from utility systems, from uh, system operators, etc. and we can do the job. We will see wind being able to deliver massive cuts in greenhouse gas emissions and those cuts will be within that time frame that the scientists tell us that we need to act to keep uh, global warming below 2 degrees Celsius. The, the Danish wind farm is um, unbelievably inspiring for, for those of us in the U.S. because we don't have uh, offshore wind yet, but we're working very hard to try to get that wind uh, put in place. And we're, we're on our way to meet 20% wind by 2030, and I think we'll probably get there even more quickly if we can get the policy support in place. So um, we're ready to rock and roll, and we're out there uh, building wind farms. Today we have 20% of our electricity consumption is based on wind and in 2020 it will be possible to reach 50%. If we make the right decisions in time then that would be the goal.